actually just straight dorsiflexion. It's a test for DVT. Patient complains of pain, swelling, redness in the posterior calf. Take them into dorsiflexion. If that increases their symptoms, positive. That's it for Holmans. All right. What people confuse it with is, roll prone for me, please. Thompson test. In the Thompson test, if you squeeze the calf, if you squeeze the calf, you get plantar flexion of the foot. All right, people get those two confused. So they call this Homansang. That's not. Homansang is just straight dorsiflexion. Now, both of these, okay, Homansang itself is if just really a check for that and DVT, do not do either of those tests. They are warm to the touch, tender, have a lower extremity injury, okay, a recent lower extremity injury, like within eight weeks or so. And they show all the classic signs of DVT. You do not need to prove it by trying to dislodge the, the clot that's in there. Send them to the emergency room and let them deal with it. Because if you do dislodge it, it will go straight up into the, the lungs um, and end up setting up a pulmonary embolus. And that's a serious and potentially fatal thing. Uh, we'll get the hard ones out of the way early. Morton's neuroma is that um, swelling and pressure uh, of the interdigitation of the nerves in between the third and the fourth metatarsal. And the way that you do Morton's neuroma test is you, you bring your hand over the top and you just go squeeze. Done. Missed it? I'll do it again. There you go. Catch it? Hard, right, isn't it? There we are. All done. All you're doing is just taking and compressing metatarsal heads together. If they have Morton's neuroma, if they have inflammation of that uh, little nerve in there, they'll actually scream. It's really sore. Okay, and that's it. Quick and easy. So those are the simple ones. Anterior drawer test. I'll show you on this side so you can see. With the anterior drawer test, you're going to stabilize the tip and fib. You're going to put your hand up underneath the calcaneus, and you're going to draw the whole foot anteriorly. So basically, bringing the calcaneus up into an anterior direction. A little bit of a click in there, but nothing much. Anybody have any ankle sprains? So anterior drawer test. Shows you ATF and the lateral uh, capsule complex has, has been damaged. The other two tests that we do are the inversion stress test and then what's called the Taylor tilt test, which is also the eversion stress test. Both of them combined used to be called Taylor tilt because you would tilt it one way and then the other way. And then they were like, oh, but it only hurts in one direction or it's only you know, symptomatic in one direction. We need to separate it out so we go inversion and eversion. And the way that, that we do Taylor Tilt is inversion stress, eversion stress. And that's it. So you're just looking to see how much motion. She has much more inversion than she has eversion. 